Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. It has been a hot minute since we last did one of these event updates. So there is a new Max Raid event going on right now in Sword and Shield and we're going to cover all the details of it in today. So the new Max Raid event that we have coming this weekend is all based around a ghost type Pokemon. Uh, the Wild Area event has now shifted in Pokemon Sword and Shield for a new extra event with this for the next few days ghost type pokemon will be available with shiny chandelier uh, we are currently compiling all the details and the event to be sure to check back when this event will run until sunday at 23:59 utc so we can hop over and we can take a look at all of the details of this event. As I say, it is a Summer Ghost event. It is running from today, the 20th of August, to the 22nd. So it will be 23.59, uh, just before midnight. Uh, UTC on Sunday it will run to so we've got a little bit of time to take advantage of this event uh, your one star raids as always just explaining one star uh, through to five star is what you can get in the dens just kind of recapping uh, the lower star raids you're only going to be able to get those if you've only got a certain amount of gym badges to get the five star raids you need to complete all the gyms in the game but I'm sure most of you know that now just for those of you that are new to the uh, to the sword and shield games uh, and there are still plenty of new players coming in so one star raids we're starting off with Ghastly, Litwick and Drifloon. They are your one star raids. No massively special items jumping out at me straight away for these one star raids. But they're the Pokemon that we're going to be having most encounters with in the one stars. Then they obviously turn into their evolutions in the two stars. The Haunt are going to appear in two star with the Drift Blim. Um, so even if you have got just a few gym badges, you can still take part in this event and still get yourself like a Drift Blim or a Haunter, which is pretty nice. And then Litwick going to be the other pokemon that makes up that two star raid moving on to the three star where things get a bit more juicy get gengar now in its uh final evolution from the um the ghastly uh you're gonna have a 16 percent catch rate to get uh the gengar 17 percent on this one uh 17 percent to get litwig and then the same kind of uh ratio for drift blim as well from these dens again no real special items added to this event at the moment uh just a bunch of the regular stuff that you're going to get the candies and things like that uh and then we move down to four star raids finally getting that chandelier in the four star raids so it is evolving from the litwick so it means you're going to be able to get gengar chandelier drift blim um odds are pretty even across the board for each one of these appearing there is only three of them available in the four star raids so you've got a good chance if you're after a specific one to actually get one quite quickly and then we move down to the five star raids where the juice is friends this is where all the goodies are Five star raids are what you want to get. You're going to be able to have access to get a G Max Gengar, which is incredibly good for those players with Pokemon Sword. It's not an exclusive in that game. So making it and giving you the chance to actually obtain that Pokemon. Uh, you're still going to have the chance to get regular Gengar. 10% chance to get the G Max. 23% to get the regular form. Um, no special items on there. You're going to have a 32% chance to get Chandelure in this den. And then you've got 16 and 17 shared between the Drift Blims that are the other Pokemon available. But the big kind of other draw that we've got in this den uh, event is the Shiny Chandelure. So so is guaranteed square shiny which is incredible gives you the opportunity to get this chandelier i love sh shiny chandelier i think it's an incredibly cool looking pokemon uh the color difference to the real flame looks very cool i do like it let me know down in the comment section what your opinions are on it but a very cool pokemon nonetheless to be able to kind of hunt this weekend and it's a good opportunity to uh to go out and get it so two percent chance it's a bit slim but you can put the odds a bit more in your favor we'll get into that in a moment uh then we'll go down to shield and it is exactly the same across the board doesn't matter which version you've got pokemon sword pokemon shield you're gonna have the same pokemon same odds same items everything per star den that you get <coughs> so just to recap before we head into game the event is running from today uh, re of recording this when we're uploading this video the 20th of august to the 22nd of august and that will end at 23:59 utc time so it is the ghost summer event right let's get back into game okay so to obtain this den in game what we need to do first is make sure that you are online so you want to come over to your ycom just get yourself online and we want to update 
the dens in the wild area, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. You can catch uh, these event dens in any of the, the dens that are throughout these areas in the game, it's not tied specifically to the wild area or to the Isle of Armor, to the Crown Tundra will be throughout and all the dens will be able to have these event uh, beams. So once you've done that, you wanna come in to your mystery gifts in your menu screen and you want to get get wild area news and this will just connect to the servers and it will just pop up with a message like this your dens will be updated uh, with all of the new details of the event and then when you come in the event should look like this um, and I'm gonna play a little video over the top of this now this is a spot in the, the the wild area that I do like to to use there's two dens very close to each other and you just run in between each den dropping a wishing piece and then seeing what spawns check the Pokemon inside the den that's just spawned if it is the normal Pokemon from that den then you know it isn't the event den uh, if it's a purple beam as well one of the more rarer beams you know that is not the event den either so you just come in between each den until you get the gengar or the the ghastly litwick drift loom or drift blim that you know are in this event and don't regularly pop up in these areas so like i say once you do have the den uh, what you can do the first thing to do once you've got it is just make sure that you save the game um, because if anything goes wrong with manipulating the den or anything like that then at least you've got a safe point to come back to and you know you've got this den saved uh, the next thing to do is just make sure that you uh take yourself offline because the next step you don't want to be online to do this uh, so we'll just disconnect from the internet and then what we can do we can manipulate the den uh to change the pokemon because Personally, I'll probably be hunting for the shiny chandelier. I think it's the one Pokemon that I want. You come into the den, invite others, and you hit your home button on your controller. Come down to system settings, go into system, date and time. Make sure that your clock is off, not synchronized by the internet. Come down to date and time. Skip your day forward one day, press OK. And hit your home menu come back into the game and then just quit out of the den now i know a lot of you will already know this process but for those that you are new this skips the day forward and changes the den's frame so you go into another day it changes the pokemon in the den so you can see we're going to collect 2000 watts again and there we go the pokemon changes so we just repeat this process over again until we get to that five star chandelier and once we do Obviously, once you get to that five-star chandelier, if that is the Pokemon that you are hunting, make sure that you save before you enter the den. Uh, and once you do save, you can go into the den. You can check if it's the shiny one. If not, just reset your game, come back into it, and start the cycle again until you reach that next five-star chandelier. And then you kind of rinse and repeat that process until you do get the shiny chandelier. I've done it many times before in the past where uh, it's been, well, 100% successful. It's just a bit of a grind to do it, you know? It could take hundreds of resets where you're skipping through hundreds of dens um, and it could take maybe three or four you know it just depends um, it's just how easy it is to land on those five star chandeliers if there is the shiny that you're going for and uh, how much patience you have to to kind of do it but um, this is the method the best method to approaching getting the shiny this weekend the other one is to uh, just hop online maybe try and join some raids that are being hosted by other players and that will then potentially allow you into to a shiny den that uh, someone is hosting for friends and that is the other way to get it and sometimes maybe the easier way uh, rather than having to grind through doing this method so there we go we finally got our five star chandelier so you can see it here in the den it is the one that we're looking for is it the shiny one who knows like i say what we do here is just save the game and then once it's saved, we know we've got a good save point we can come back to if we need to. And then we just dive into the den. We just want to check it at this point. Don't invite others. And it's an easy check. Fingers crossed. We did get the shiny on our last one. So can we keep the streak going today? Not today. Not today. It's it's very slim chance that we would do it. But we did get it last time. It was, uh, it was a pretty hype moment. I was pretty happy about it. Uh, but not this time. So, friends, that wraps up the event updates for this weekend. If you do take part in it, do let me know down in the comment section. And if you do manage to get the shiny chandelier, do let me know. I love hearing about the success stories and the uh, the amount of people that generally are very, very lucky and uh, land on it or just have the the sheer domination and will to uh, grind through these uh, these frame skips to get it. It's uh, it's a cool Pokemon to get. 
take the opportunity to get it while you can and uh, i hope you enjoyed the event and i hope you've enjoyed today's video thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon